Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. I love this town. Oh, it makes me happy to sing. It makes me happy to talk to other people, to spread my love, spread my joy, spread my humor with you. I love everything that you do. All right, God, let's take, which way? Which way, God? All right, God says, all right, we'll head this way. We had a lot of snow the other day. So it's raining down pretty hard, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna get through this. I just wanna say hi to everyone. And uh, I appreciate that, uh, you know, people wanna listen to this. That's great. Um, I'm not doing it because I'm like trying to accomplish something. It's more about getting my thoughts out what's going on in my life. I should have family, friends, etc. that people that wanna help. That's what uh, God says to me. They talk to me and they say, yeah, your parents should help. They should just, you should just say, dad, I'd like help with this or that. Um, but they don't care about me. They wrecked, my dad wrecked my life. I, I like analogies. God doesn't like them. <laughs> sure, let's do this one. Yay. It's like if um, where I live, they don't have toilet. They don't hold, have a, they have a roll, but no holder. So sometimes the toilet, it, toilet paper falls in there. Uh, and I don't know, can, can you salvage that thing? I said, that's kind of like my life. It might look okay on the outside, but I don't know if it's usable or not. Uh, God says, you know, why do you want to keep living this? You, you know, you're not going to get what you want. That's what they tell me. They say my ways are stupid because I think I need to like become rich and famous just to get help with um, basic stuff like my teeth, which... Uh, Dentists are not helping. Family are like, they sh I wish I could just go to a dentist and say, here's my problems, and then they help me. But that doesn't happen. They usually just uh, say, well, this tooth, that, that. <laughs> it's, I don't like it. So I wrote some notes down. I wrote some notes. I wrote some notes down because I don't trust my memory. <laughs> yeah, uh... That's why I take notes. Uh, usually uh, thoughts just come and go real quick. I think of something funny. Think of, or if God's like, you can write this down if you want. So let's see. Uh, I couldn't really remember my dreams too much. But one was uh, about a cupcake. I guess my last name's Cake. <laughs> and I'm very sweet. Very sweet and tasty. <laughs> And then, like, someone had a video. They don't think I should talk about that one. Because they said it was stupid. Yeah, because, like, I think I... This was back, you know, before the Enlightenment. Um, you know, just writing some stuff down. Here comes someone on a path. Yeah. So, before the Enlightenment, I just kind of thought I was getting more... Hello, ma'am. <laughs> What a beautiful day, beautiful dog. Yes. Oh, he's scared of me. He's terrified. He's Run scared away. Of Run away. Come on, Bucky. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on. You hey, guys. guys. Hey, guys. Come on, he's gone. Go by Bucky, the dog. Here. Go by the Bucky, doggy dog. <laughs> you did it. Have a good day. Hey, you too. Dead. I love dogs. So. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Yeah, yeah uh, if you watch my, uh, don't watch them. <laughs> they probably should be deleted, but whatever. I just made bits of wisdom. It was more about me just getting thoughts off my mind. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing in my life. I, <sighs> I say my life was wrecked. I go, yeah, if someone doesn't think my life was wrecked, they say, do it to someone else, see if it wrecks. Yeah, but it's like, it's so stupid. It's like someone should just get help. Shouldn't matter. That's what God always tells me. It's like, it shouldn't matter who did it, when it happened, da, 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 da. People should just help. But we live in, I, I hate to say self-centered world. I mean, there's, there's some caring, but it's like, you know, uh, everyone's not a dentist. Everyone can't just help me with my teeth. If I could just fix my own teeth, I would. 
and I, uh, you know, prayed to God, uh, but it's not, sure, we'll talk about that. It's not the God, they said, hold on to your phone, if because you, if you slip, they said, then you fling your phone. Yeah, see, there's a nice little waterfall down there. They said, hold, because, <laughs> like, you just lose your footing, and then you throw your phone, and then, da, 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 da. Let's ask God which way to go. Hum. Hum. All right, let's just keep going this way. Hum a dee doo dee doo dee da. So let's think of what was they talking about? What was I talking about there? So we'll just say like it's it's the concepts are really hard to understand. Like um, I, I was kind of saying like there isn't a entity called God somewhere. It's more like. Um, reality is just happening. We don't know why. People form beliefs, but these beliefs are backed by some kind of supernatural force, which we can't understand. But they say it's it's not a supernatural force. It's just reality. We may not understand reality. How about that? Because when something's moving my bed, I say, they say, no one's moving your bed. There's no, like, entity. See? We can't explain that. Usually we'd say spirits or something. But they say there's no entity moving my bed or pressing down on it. I just thought it was spirits. So, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Um, they said I probably shouldn't talk about that. You know, why people are born certain ways or certain. That's always been the, the philosophical question. Why am I me? I guess that would be not answerable right now. Or someone would say, why did God choose me to do this task? Well, um, there isn't a chooser. I don't know. This is how they explain it to me. The God within, however you want to say it. Is people want what they want and they're just giving it to them. But then again, our only source of information would be them. So people say I'm getting psychic information, my intuition, I'm using remote viewing, I'm using kinesiology, I'm using all these different methods. And I go, you're going through the same source. And they, that's why we're kind of in a closed world because there's what, like knowledge. <laughs> um, Cause I kind of say like, you want to know the truth? Go read a history book. But it's like, well, history is written by the winners. Okay, if you ask God, well, then God will just give you what you'll believe or whatever it is. The final truth. I've discovered the final truth. We are going to reveal the final truth. I found it. I found it. But yeah, I watch a video about, you know, Mystic says he has the final truth. You know, I have the final truth. Ha ha ha. The final truth is that it's all belief systems. We'll never know the truth. But we have, we just live our lives and then that's it. Uh, I guess that's not a very good truth, is it? Where is the truth? I see it out there. There it is. The truth. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, should we talk about that? They said, sure. They don't think that there's like an objective morality type of thing, but there's definitely uh, things that uh, people like or want, and they don't want uh, being harmed, for instance. Uh, Yeah, so there, <laughs> our mind, this is another thing that kind of a discussion with me. Our mind doesn't have an off switch. Like I can't turn my mind off, but like they can, it's like a they could switch it to a different belief system type of thing. They can switch it over to something else. Different thoughts, different beliefs. Can't turn it off though. Yeah, and uh, when I was talking to God about this, what they can do is blur the line between what is my thoughts, so I don't know if it's my thoughts or if it's God's thoughts putting in there. And but it's because I'll say like, is this my thought, their thought? Because they can make it 
and they can take over my voice. We'll just let them take it over. Why not? Love you all. Love you all. This is God speaking. I think you're all great. Steve is doing wonderful. Don't worry about him. We've got him taken over. We're taking him over. We're going to get him to do what we want from now on. Is that enough? <laughs> they didn't like that. They, ooh. Yeah, they said we, they can't get me to do what, they can't get me to have a normal life. They said, you should just have a normal life. Do what, you know, the things you want to do. Because they said, you don't want to be rich. You don't want to be famous. You don't want to, you know, because people are working towards those things. I'm just kind of venting here. Wishing I could have my life back. How about that? 18 years ago, but I don't need it back 18 years ago. I just need things to work out. Yeah, parents, not good. They uh, should just help. They just basically uh, kicked me out, threw, it all away, threw away my stuff. Not, not nice people. Yeah, so I watched this video where they said, oh, I want to go to heaven, but just not right now. And uh, God basically says, yeah, it's because people want what they want. Because they say, well, why don't you just end your life? And I go, they say, well, it's because there's things I want. That's the thing. <laughs> we're, we're holding on to this. We'll hold on to it, you know, through who knows what. Because I used to visit an old folks home and I was like, half these people are just, you know, they're just sitting around waiting to die. They have, there's really nothing in their life. Their health problems are really bad. Uh, but they're still clinging on. So we'll all just keep clinging. Yeah, and there has to be a way to explain tragic deaths. Hey, that's another thing. So some people in their belief system say that it was uh, predetermined ahead of time. Uh, the murder and stuff. I do not believe that. But that's kind of how they... I, I feel like people have to justify their own existence. And, uh, you know, I hate to say the self-centeredness of existence. Um, you know, because I used to kind of be like, you know, why don't uh, a certain... They said, just say, Christians, why, you know, they, why aren't they helping me or something? Because they're just people <laughs> and they just believe something different. Or we share, shared common, certain common beliefs like Jesus or whatnot. But when I was a kid, I was, uh, I was like, what does a guy that lived 2000 years ago have to do with me? Like I couldn't make the, connect the dots there. And I also wondered what, what type of aircraft Pontius Pilate was flying at the time back then so <laughs> uh yeah they did i'm saying they didn't explain anything they just said believe that's that good folks i like things explained that's how that's why they said um if there's no reason for why this is happening but it's what i wanted is basically kind of like the best truth that i can be handed the best so then so then i think everyone is duped that's the problem. When I watch a video, I go, oh, man, they think they got the truth. They think they found it. The one true way of living. The one, and I, I think they got duped. But God says, nope, they're just getting what they want. They want to uh, believe they found the truth. You know, and there is um, psychic stuff, you know, that backs it up. That confirms it. So it's not just a belief. It's not like, oh, they just believe that. It's like, no, they, they say, well, we've gotten lots of evidence for it. So it's not like, but that's just how reality works. It will manifest uh, things to confirm your belief. That's why I went through the enlightenment process. It was like, at one point, I thought I was in a, a dual world system. Where uh, when I said blessings, it helped the people in the other world help them fight a battle over there kind of like in uh the never-ending story was kind of like a dual world where he would yell i train you i believe in you you know whatever he yell i don't know i can't i haven't seen that movie in a long time god did not like that one <laughs> Because they say we're just kind of looking up for you, you know, yelling is not not too bright, not too bright, is it, folks? Shouldn't be yelling, 
Shouldn't be sniffing trees. Don't sniff the trees, folks. Do not eat pine cones. They said, don't, whatever you do, don't do this. Mmm. Tastes like pine salt. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, is that edible? I don't know. Probably don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> they said my way is all stupid. I'm not too smart. I'm not the smartest man in the world, but uh, I do a lot of running. So uh, I guess that's what I do. When I got to go, I go. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to pick apart the movies. Like, you know, like when he ate, he ate. It's like when I ate, I ate. And when I drank, I drank. And when I had to go, I had to go. When I need to sleep, I slept. It's like, that's basically everyone's life kind of in a nutshell. I guess they didn't fill. They didn't want to fill in the details on that one. They had, oh yeah, I had one more thing written down on my notepad there. Is that some people have these, uh, they do like DMT or LSD or who knows what. And uh, basically the, the God within or whatever says, uh, we don't think that's a great idea. So sometimes they give them a bad trip. Bad trip, bad trip. You know, they give them a, like uh, Joe Rogan talked about someone, these uh clowns or something saying like don't take life so seriously that's the god within kind of speaking to people and then another guy said like he could see people's thoughts but they can also see they could give you what their real thoughts or they could just make it so it seems like you're seeing their thoughts so it could be either way that's the thing but it's they'll know what's believable to you so you'll be uh, in it and that's kind of like dreams it's like when we're having a dream it's like unless it's a lucid dream when you're in the dream you're not like this is just a dream I... so it's like somehow see it's like there's like a nature to us I'm going to ask God which way to go they think I should just start heading back But they also <laughs> like to feed. Maybe they just want good entertainment when I run down a hill. Whoa. Yeah, so they're trying to uh, help me. Uh, but uh, like the joke was, uh, we're giving her all she's got, Captain. Cause I don't, we don't really know what they can do. They said no miracles, but I think they could convince everyone to change, but they said like, it's kind of pointless if they don't want to change. Have a great day. Yeah. God was saying like, you can, if they're not looking, cause like, I'd be like, if someone's not looking at me, can I just say, have a great day? I said, go ahead and just say it. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like I'm in uh, the downward spiral because it's kind of, or kicking them when they, they're down or falling through the cracks. Cause it's like, it's like the worse your problems are, the worse you get treated. And then you're getting punished over nothing, over saying hi to a woman you had not seen in 12 years. Where you're getting a, living in a place where you're getting abused every day. Yeah, God. That says this is the thing. It's I, from my point of view. I, God doesn't agree, but I just wanted someone to help, or you know, I felt overwhelmed. You know, hoping this woman would care, hoping someone would care. But God said, no one's ever gonna care. So you should just try to solve it on your own. Because I make all these assumptions that, like, you know, because I, I hear about all these stories. How people had a problem and they got help. And I'm like, yeah, I just want help saying. But if I live in a world where they just harm me, deny the harm, you know, file the MIT, deny it, say he's mental, put him in a mental ward. Say he's a delusional stalker, put him in a jail, and it just keeps going on. 
Then another dentist does more bad dentistry. Yeah. Then I'm dumped, removed from the house, all my stuff thrown away, put into a room with criminals. You know, I'm already suffering, you know. At one point I could only sleep for four hours a day because my infections were so bad. Uh, some people say your teeth look fine. It's like, yeah, but it's not how they look if I say they're bothering me. But they said I can't win. I'm in a no-win scenario here because they'll just say, oh, just go to a dentist or just have them pulled. They're just, you know, it's always, it's like, ugh. That's why I wish it was done to my siblings, you know. I said, well, my dad says, I don't want to wreck their life. But then he doesn't think, he, he's like, how could that have wrecked your life? I go, well, do it to someone else, see if it wrecks their life. I don't know. And I say, it's not just one thing. It's kind of like this attitude of the uncaring attitude. And I don't know how to solve that. I don't know how to get people to care. I don't know how to get people to do what's right. That's why a lot of people, it bothers me because they, they think God's going to solve it. But uh, from what they tell me, it's uh, they said people solve problems. So when they want to. And they said, I, they said no one wants to solve it. They said, including me. They said, Steve, you don't want to solve it. You want someone else to come in and save you. <laughs> You're hoping Jesus will come down. Come on, Jesus. Come on down. Save me. Yeah, they don't even like me watching uh, videos on YouTube. Because I, because they said it's not helping you. Not helping you. These videos are not helping you either. But I love everyone. And I, you know, I just, I wish things were working out. Had friends, family, whatever, you know, whatever. I, Oh, whatever helps people. How about that? That's that's what bothers me is that they say all these systems are supposed to help people, but they're not helping. Uh, I tried talking to the government. They they are uncaring. They are there is no heart. There is no caring there. It is a system that is. I say pretend. It helps probably helps some people, but. They don't say, what do you need? How do we help? They just say, sign these papers and then you just sit in a room all day hoping someone will care. So that's my life. I wish I could just make, I wish I could just make a video, put it out there. Everyone sees it and says, let's just help Steve because all he's asking for is to have a life. Just some kind of basic life. That's what I thought I said you know I could get through life I think you know with my own problems as long as I don't have any major problems yeah that was especially a major medical problem and then it's one thing leads to another you know the teeth breaking off leads to infections and then and then uh, broken teeth sharp edges yeah, and it's just a constant annoyance. And then, yeah, I got a, like, I got other problems. Like, it's hard for me to breathe through my nose at night. So I put something in there, kind of my own little creation. <laughs> but I, they said it's not a disorder, but it's like, I, <laughs> I don't think I should talk about it, but it's like, Let's just say it's easy for me to stay up, but like getting up, I just, ooh. but I guess if we all have something to get up for, uh, we'll get up <laughs> for something we want to do. How about that? Even if we're tired, but, uh, but we're almost at 25 minutes. Uh. We'll just let everyone know that I, uh, I love them very much. God loves them very much too. Keep the thoughts and prayers and the and the love and the everything going. That's what I think. I know, but it's like the people that probably watch us are probably already uh, pretty nice people. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure isn't a lot of cruel people. 
that's the, the people that um, unfortunately hold the chains of power in our world is the people that don't care about others. They only care about power and control and money and all that. And that's, it's too bad. <laughs> all right, have a great day, everyone.